Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 version 22H2. And the update will be our next bug fix update, KB5034203, because in December we didn't get a bug fix update due to the holidays. And this will be our first optional bug fix update rolling out uh, for this year, 2024. And if we head to the calendar, uh, we are expecting that to roll out, I would suggest, starting Tuesday uh, the 23rd. That would be late Tuesday in my region. So the optional updates roll out in the fourth week of the month. And if we don't get it on the 23rd, I'm almost sure it will roll out then on the 30th. Now, there are two new features that are rolling out. And uh, um, the first one I'm just going to mention, Microsoft says this update adds a feature for our control system settings. Uh, they say you can back up these settings from the former device while you set up a new device. Then those settings will install automatically on the new device so you can use them when you reach the desktop. So that's the first of two new features. And then the second one is already starting to make its way into Windows 11. And now Microsoft, as I've been posting, is starting to focus a little bit more on Windows 10. And it's also getting a new feature where uh, Microsoft says in the coming weeks, they will bring a richer weather experience to uh, to your lock screen and just to show you what this is all about um, if you head to your lock screen currently and you have this enabled you will see the weather here in the bottom left so that's the the weather experience or the weather the weather widget as i call it they are talking about so that's going to be upgraded in the coming weeks starting with this update so as mentioned a couple of um, windows 11 features are now starting to make their way into windows 10 and if we just head to a screenshot, and um, this will give us a general idea. This is taken from uh, the Insider program. And yeah, you can see, obviously, this is Windows 11, but you'll get the general idea. It's going to look exactly the same as this. And Microsoft says um, this includes dynamic interactive weather updates. So as you hover over the weather on your lock screen, you will see more information. And when you tap or click on the weather card and sign in, Microsoft Edge opens the full forecast in MSN Weather. Now, they also mention that if you already use weather in settings, so if we just head over to our settings quickly, and we head to personalization, and we click on lock screen. Yeah, you get the option to choose an app to show detailed status on the lock screen. And if you have weather there, obviously, that's when you'll see weather on the lock screen. So if you already use weather um, on this page and you have enabled it, uh, Microsoft says there is nothing for you to do. Also, the new experience will be on by default if lock screen status is set to none. So if you don't have um, any weather, it will be on by default. So just take note of that. And the lock screen status will be available uh, when you lock your screen, no matter which personalization option you select. So that would be picture, slideshow. And obviously, that will be the default when that does become available. Um, on your device now that's the new features out of the way and then if you are interested this is a bug fix update it's a non-security bug fix update so there are about five or six i've just pulled from the release notes if you would be interested uh, five fixes that have rolled out this update they say addresses an issue that affects windows management instrumentation and a caching issue occurs and the issue causes current time zone to change to the wrong value and then this update also addresses an issue that affects some single function printers they might install as a scanner. And I always notice with these bug fix updates, there's always a couple of printer issues that do get addressed. And the update addresses an issue that stops you from reconnecting to an existing remote desktop session. Instead, you get a new one. And it also fixes an issue that occurs when you change the keyboard language. And the final one, just to mention for this video, the update addresses an issue that affects deleted cloud files and there's a couple of other bug fixes but i just pulled uh, the main ones uh, if you would be interested and that's more or less what we can expect to roll out um, in our next optional bug fix update but one thing i have noticed though that um, microsoft hasn't pushed out a bug fix for this update that i've been posting on that was a security update that rolled out as many of you will know by now um, that rolled out to address a security vulnerability that could allow attackers to bypass BitLocker encryption by using Windows Recovery Environment. And that update was KB5034441, 
which was failing to install um, because the recovery partition wasn't large enough to complete this update. Now, see, there is no fix um, that has been made available, but hopefully by the time this update does roll out, Microsoft will become aware of that problem and then will push out a bug fix. But I'll keep you posted regarding that if that does become a reality, which I hope it does sooner than later. Now, if we just head over to Winver about Windows... Um, the build will be bumped up when this update does roll out and if you do install it because it is optional you don't have to but if you do your build will be bumped up to 19045.3992 or somewhere in that vicinity and currently the build is sitting on 3930 so that's our next optional bug fix update KB5034203 rolling out shortly over the next couple of days and that includes two new features and a couple of bug fixes so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one